Welcome back everybody. A few people have asked me to go into a deeper dive on what items I tend to buy off the market board to desensitize in order to sell. So I figured today I'll show what items I'm currently buying, why I'm buying them, what mats I'm looking for in order to sell, and most importantly, how I add items to my weekly list. To begin with, you need to have desensitize unlocked on your character in order to do this farm. If you need help with unlocking it, there should be a link to my video in the top right corner. Just pause this video and go check it out and come back afterwards. All right, now I can easily just show you my current desist list and make it a day, but this list is constantly changing. I have a few evergreen items that tend to always be worth it, though most of the items are dictated by what retainers bring back from quick expirations. In every patch, different items tend to be a higher drop rate than the other items. This affects its supply and demand. A furniture item can go from selling for 15,000 gil to under 1,000 in the matter of a couple days. Then it'll skyrocket back up again a few patches later when it no longer has such a high drop rate. A good example of this was the House for Tom's fireplace. Back in patch, I want to say 6.3, it felt like I was getting one every few hours from quick expiration. And I wasn't the only person. The market board reflected it and you would see an entire list of them selling for under 1,000 gil. So I added it to my favorite list to regularly check whenever I would do a decent session. Then a few patches later, the fireplace no longer seemed to be such a high drop rate and now they're back to selling for 15,000 gil each. So it was time to remove it from my favorites and look for new items. Another thing about finding desensible items is you want to pay attention to what materials you receive from them. Do the materials sell well? For instance, a lot of the low level items will just descend into materials that can be bought off a vendor. Hence, I tend to focus on buying items that are about 300 item levels or above. The sweet spot feels like item level 430 or above. Since I mainly use my retainers bringing back quick expirations, I'll test out a few distances whenever they bring back a new item to see what materials I can get from it. If all the materials almost all are worth less than the 1000 I usually spend, I'll just pass on buying them and just descent the ones my retainer brings back to me. That being said, there are a few items that look for that have one rare item they descent into and the rest is mediocre. I'll keep an eye out for them and buy them with the intent of trying to get just that one rare material. A good example of this is the carbuncle rug. The materials that it descends into are mediocre besides the jute yarn. A jute yarn usually sells for 10,000 each and the rug will give you two yarns when it descends into it. Therefore, even though everything else it can descend into is pretty meh, this one material makes it worth it. I also do this with the stuff Gagana. It descends into useless items besides having a chance to be clear Demi Materia 3, which vendors for 5,000 gil. Since the stuffed Gagana has horrible descents otherwise, they tend to sell on the market for for under 500 gil. So I make a nice little profit just buying them for super cheap and focusing on mainly getting the Demi Materials to be vendored. So I'm constantly evolving my decent list to reflect the current market. I'll add or subtract items from my favorite list. On my server, there are a few other people that like to decent items as well. Sometimes I beat them by buying all the low priced items and sometimes they beat me. Whenever they beat me, I'll just pick another random server on my data center until I find one that can give me a nice batch to decent. I would do this every few days and I generally do it just to keep my retainers full of items to sell. This farm won't make you a billionaire, but you'd be surprised just how much extra money you generate each week. Another way you can find items to descend will take a bit more time, but you'll be rewarded more for the work you put in. You can go through each housing section like exterior fixtures, interior fixtures, furnishings, tables, etc, etc, etc. Look for all items selling for under a thousand, buy a few and see what it descends into. If the materials are worth more than the initial item, add it to your list for future checks. This will help you find a lot more items to sell and protect you from other people seeing this video and just copy pasting my list. As promised, here's a list of my current decent items. There are probably a couple of items here that I should just remove, but I have copium that they will plummet in price again. They probably won't though. To point out a few items, let's look at the imitation shuttered window. It's mainly here for the crystal glass, which sells for about 2000 each. Most every window can descend into crystal glass. And when I feel like it, I'll just search up for any cheap window in interior fixtures. It's just the imitation shutter windows tend to sell for a low price. 
Next item we'll look at is the wooden reel table. A few years ago, I saw a short saying to buy them whenever they are under 4,000 gil because they descent into very valuable items. I've made quite a bit of gil following that advice and I still do it to this day. A lot of the rest of the stuff is just generic evergreen items. Though the items with item level 560 are the current higher than usual drops from retainers for quick excursions. They tend to fluctuate in price a lot, but since they have the newer mats, I tend to pay a little more than I do for the other items. Though I've slowed down a bit on paying a little extra for these items because we are so close to Dondro and all the Inwalker items are starting to go down in price as people empty their storage. So I now have full bags with items ready to be descent. I like to fill my bags with items before descending instead of descending one item at a time. It's much quicker this way. There's also a weekly log for descending five items that will reward you with crafting experience. The experience is about the same as completing one levy quest. So if you haven't maxed all your crafters levels and you care about leveling your crafters, this is a nice little weekly boost. Just be sure to be on the job you want to level and you'll receive some free experience. Now, once you're done descending, it's time to place them on your retainers to sell. It may just seem easy just to put the entire stack of materials you've collected to sell. I mean, it saves space and one click and you're done. Though pay attention to everyone else's stacks and the sell history. What size of stacks is everyone else selling them? For instance, putting up a stack of 43 candles when they tend to sell best in stacks of 10 will probably eventually sell, but until they sell, your huge stack becomes the new ceiling price that everyone undercuts. Whereas a stack of 10 would probably sell quicker and you'd be able to make more money. Another thing to be wary of is that some people will put a material up for half the price of everyone else. Sometimes this is due to the fact that they're putting it up for its value and some Someone else recently bought all the materials leaving behind the overpriced ones. Though, sometimes it's because an Omnicrafter put that one material at half price, hoping people will undercut them and they'll just scoop up all the undercuts for a huge discount to make their crafts. Whenever I see a sus price like this, I'll check the sales history. If the sus price is legit, I'll just undercut by one. If it looks like a sneaker crafter is just trying to cheap everyone out of material prices, I'll just buy the materials and resell them for the actual value. They tend to use the same trick on many other items on the market board. I've seen them selling one glamour prism or one dispeller for super cheap, but the main copper for these tricks are the submarine materials that are bought from the grand company, like Coke and Hardened Sap. These people will put one hardened sap or coke up for like 150 gil hoping for someone to underbid them and they'll instantly buy them. My goal is to hopefully find their trying to get people to unbid them but I have all the low super sheaves up and then flip it. Free gil. Anyways that's enough of that tangent. So from experience I haven't become rich from desynthesizing items. I have made a nice chunk of gil doing this but the main reason I do it is to keep my retainers full of items to sell. Like I said I'll do this every few days and I'll make a few million gil for hardly any work. It's just an additional way for me to pad out my weekly gale production. So I hope you enjoyed this deeper look into how I desensitize. I'd really appreciate it if you liked the video. That would really help me out with the algorithm. Also, I would love it if you subscribed in order to see more videos like this in the future. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Bye.